This is breaking news. Lauren Hill blasts desperate Fuji's bandmate for suing her days before London show. Lauren Hill has hit out at her Fuji's bandmate Pras Michael's lawsuit against her, calling it desperate and unfortunate. The legal action comes after the 90s hitmaker shortened the Fuji's 2023 tour and cancelled the Mistucation anniversary US concerts this year, days before they were due on stage. The Fugees previously confirmed their UK dates would go ahead and are due to play Cardiff on October 9, before heading to Manchester and London on October 12 and 14 respectively. Michael, 51, has sued the 49-year-old frontwoman for fraud and breach of contract, accusing her of Rossley mismanaging the setup, marketing and budgeting for 2023's tour. He added, in documents obtained by Variety, that the tour was actually a veiled and devious attempt to make a big score for herself. Hill has blasted the lawsuit as disheartening in a statement, claiming she absorbed most of the expenses. The Ready or Not singer also alleged she and bandmate Wyclef Jean, 54, had waived their advance to financially benefit Michael. The Mistucation Anniversary Tour 2024 was due to kick off in Tampa, Florida on August 9, before making its way across the US and over to Europe later this year. Ticket holders were informed, after the 2023 tour was shortened, that the gigs would no longer go ahead with Hill citing poor sales as the reason. As part of the fraud claims, Michael alleged a breach of fiduciary duty and refusal to permit an audit and stated Hill had overblown the budget. Variety reports the lawsuit states the tour was so bloated with unnecessary and, most likely fictitious, expenses that it seemed designed to lose money. In addition to this, Michael claims Hill did not inform the group when she turned down a $5 million offer to play Coachella, meaning he missed out on a payday. Her reasoning, according to her bandmate, was that the Killing Me Softly hitmaker's ego was bruised, after no doubt landed top billing. In response, Hill's lawyer, Howard King, claimed the lawsuit was packed with lies and intentionally disparaging remarks. He added, It is particularly disappointing that the suit fails to reveal that Praz was grossly over-advanced for the last tour to help him pay his mounting legal bills. His failure to show appreciation for the financial help Ms. Hill has afforded him in his time of need is disappointing. This action will be aggressively defended and defeated. Michael is currently facing up to 20 years in jail after being found guilty of conspiracy to defraud the US, witness tampering, and acting as an unregistered agent of a foreign government. Accusations include helping Malaysian businessman Joe Lowe and the Chinese government gain access to US officials, including former presidents Barack Obama and Donald Trump. Hill, not shying away from the conflict, also posted a statement to her Instagram page with the caption, I'll probably have more to say. She wrote, Some clarity and facts need to be presented. I've been silent and pushing through, because I understood that Praz was under duress because of his legal battles and that this was perhaps affecting his judgment, state of mind, and character. Fact number one. This baseless lawsuit by Praz is full of false claims and unwarranted attacks. It notably omits that he was advanced over payment for the last tour and has failed to repay substantial loans extended by myself as an act of goodwill. Last year's tour was put together to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the album, The Misducation of Lauryn Hill. It was being planned whether the Fugees were involved or not. Fact number two, the tour was expanded to incorporate the Fugees because I found out that Praz was in trouble and would need money to aid his legal defense. Fact number three. Praz was given a $3 million advance for the tour, which he said he required to pay his legal fees. Wycliffe and myself deferred our full advances to make sure he had what he needed and was able to go. I covered most of the tour expenses, as the majority of the tour advance had gone to Praz. An agreement was put in place to secure the repayment of the money he was advanced. Praz has not paid back the money he was advanced and is currently in breach of this agreement. Fact number four. 
because my tour, band, production, and setup were already happening. The Fuji set utilized this same production. I absorbed most of the expenses myself, produced the show, put together the entire set, with Wyclef's participation for the Fuji's and Wyclef's set. Pras basically just had to show up and perform. She wasn't done there as the Fuji la singer, then claimed Michael had thanked her for saving his life during the last tour, adding that she has the receipts. Her post continued, Fact number six. I am not in the business of kicking anyone, especially when they're down, which is why I haven't responded to date. It is absolutely disheartening to see Praz in this position, my bar.